Here we are in DaVinci Resolve, I have two examples on the timeline without the transition and in order to add one I'm going to open effects, then select effects over here and add an adjustment clip above the videos to the track number 2. Then I'm going to adjust the length of the adjustment layer down to 10 frames. For this I'm going to move the time indicator to the point of the cut between the videos and move 5 frames to the left. You can do that using the arrow keys, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Bring the start of the adjustment layer to this point, then go back to the point of the cut and move 5 frames to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Bring the end of the adjustment layer over here. So once you've adjusted the length of the adjustment layer, select it and open Fusion page. Then select Media in Node, press Control Space to open Search and search for Transform. And you need this one with the FX, select it, click Add. Now make sure Inspector Panel is enabled and here we're going to create a total of 4 keyframes. So let's move the Time Indicator to the start of the Adjustment Layer. Create a keyframe for Center X, Y by clicking this diamond icon. Then move to the end of the first video, so it should be this frame over here. Create a keyframe without changing the value. Then move forward one frame to the start of the second video, create another keyframe. Then go to the end of the second video and create another keyframe. And after you've created all four of the keyframes, we're going to leave the first and the fourth at default values and we're going to adjust the second and the third keyframes. Now let's move the time indicator to the second keyframe. If you can't find it over here, you can do that in the inspector panel by clicking these arrow keys. So we need not the first but the second. And here it depends which direction you want the transition to go. I want it to go to the right, so I'm going to adjust the center X value. I'm going to increase it until the image is off screen. That should be 1. You can see the image is off screen. Now let's move one frame forward to the start of the second video and do the exact opposite. So I'm going to decrease this value until it is off screen. So that should be zero. You can see the image is off screen, but it's to a different side. So we should get something like this if we play this back. Now if you open spline, then make sure you check transform one so you can see the keyframes. Then zoom to fit to see all of them. Click somewhere in the empty space. Control A to select all the keyframes. Then press S on the keyboard to add easing to the keyframes. And here we're going to adjust the graph in the following way. So this is the second keyframe handle. I'm going to drag it all the way to the right. So it is facing down. And then I'm going to adjust the first handle. Holding Alt, I'm going to extend it almost all the way. Like make sure you leave some a bit of a space between these two. Then for the third keyframe handle, I'm going to bring it up so it is facing upward and the last keyframe I'm going to hold the alt and drag it to the left almost all the way. So this is how the graph should look so if we play this back we should have a very smooth transition but now we have empty space that we don't want to see and for this I'm going to set edges to mirror that will hide any blank space. Now the only thing there is left is to open settings, check motion blur, I'm going to increase the quality all the way to 10 and here play around with the shutter angle. The higher value you set for this one, the more motion play you will get. So 180 should be fine. And after that we can go ahead and do the preview. So open edit page. So here is our transition created in DaVinci. Thank you guys for watching.